Hello and welcome to the Gold Newsletter. My name is Kai Hoffman. I'm the Ed JR Mining Guy on Twitter. And together with Brian London, I'm your host of the Gold Newsletter channel. And I'm really looking forward to this breaking news special that we have lined up for you today. It is with Prismo Metals and we're being joined by President Steve Robertson. The company announced news and we have to talk about them. Lot, lots to talk about and uh, it is a key, mile, key milestone for the company. So it's worthwhile bringing them on the program and have that discussion. And uh, Steve, without much further ado, let's get you on screen. Let's get cracking here. It is a breaking news special. But uh, for any new viewers, why don't you give us a quick 30, 60 second overview of Prismo Metals, and then we'll dive into the news. Okay, well, thank you very much, Kai, for having me on. Uh, exciting times for Prismo Metals. Uh, Prismo, of course, is a, a junior mining company listed on the CSE. And uh, we've got about 55 million shares out. We've got three great projects in the company, two of them down in Mexico, a silver and a gold company. And then uh, the focus of today's discussion is going to be on our copper project, which is up in Arizona. Yeah, the hot project project. And uh, I've had a chance to visit just recently as well. Big news, though, you finally got your drill permit. It's uh, been, been a while in the making, but uh, it, it is finally here. Run us a bit through the process there, Steve, and uh, run us a bit through the key highlights of the press release. Yeah, well, actually, the permitting process was uh, relatively painless for us down in Arizona. It's uh, BLM land, and, uh, you know, the, the process was relatively straightforward. Um, but it's nice to finally have that permit in hand. We can now go out and actually do the first exploration on this project in about 50 years. Uh, so it's been a long time coming. And quite frankly, I can't believe that if Prismo actually has this property uh, with as much potential as it has. It's been sitting there waiting for us. Um, what does the permit entail, Steve? Um, t t tell me a bit. It's like, what, what have you permitted for? What, what does it allow you? Well, we've got uh, 10 drill pads uh, specified in the permit. Now, we're not going to be necessarily using all 10, but it gives us a little bit of flexibility because we're still finalizing some of the drill program. We plan to drill five holes, about 1,000 meters each, so a 5,000 meter program. And uh, um, right now, at this time, we're still... Uh, reprocessing some of the geophysics using an AI company in uh, California who is actually taking the ZTEM survey that we completed in 2023 and actually reprocessing that data to make sure that we've fully optimized the, uh, the results there so that we have the best opportunity to test that uh, possible with our five drill holes that we've got upcoming. You've opened a couple of doors there for me to jump, or a couple of rabbit holes for me to jump uh, jump into. Um, let, let's start with the trill program. Um, let, let's break that down a little bit. Um, explain to us a little bit, like what what are you targeting first? Like where are you going to drill first, and uh, maybe most importantly, how are you going to finance it? Yeah, well, in terms of what we're targeting, I mean, we've got an area that we feel uh, there's. Con Inclusive evidence uh, from our perspective that there is some sort of uh, mineralizing system going on at depth. And the reason we think it's conclusive evidence is there's actually uh, breccia pipes on the property. That's why it's called the hot breccia uh, project is because we've got these breccia pipes that have brought rocks up that were broken up down below and brought them up to surface so that we can actually see and sample them. And, and we've had some of the fragments in the breaches that uh, assay up to 5.7% copper. So we know that there's a good uh, mineralizing system at depth. Now we need to drill down there and actually find out how big and widespread it is and, and how rich it is in, in average. So it's going to be a, a very exciting process for us to go through. Um, in terms of how we're going to fund it, uh, we have to go out to the market and, and raise more money. Uh, we actually just... Uh, recently closed the financing that was uh, well oversubscribed and we uh, we feel that this is a pretty good time. A lot of people feel very good about the copper market right now and they're looking for those big copper stories. And this is certainly one of those big copper stories where we have the potential for really large scale uh, uh, production from, uh, you know, or not production, very large scale uh, results um, indicating a big system. And, and, you know, we've, we're the right neighborhood for that. We've got world-class deposits in every direction, but most notably the resolution deposit that's 40 kilometers to the North, which we think has a lot of similarities to the hot breccia in terms of its geology and geologic setting. Yeah, absolutely. No, I've been in the area. You're just a stone's throw away from the Christmas mine, Ray mine. So you're, you're in the, uh, the copper corridor, it's actually called uh, in Arizona. And uh, it's an interesting area and uh, curious uh, what, you, what you end up with once you start drilling it, as you mentioned, uh, no, no proper exploration for like 50 years. Um, th there has been previous drilling, hasn't there? 
Yeah, there was drilling back in the 1970s and um, early 1980s, and and that was the result of you know a fellow that went out and found exactly what we're seeing these breaches that uh, were bringing these uh, highly altered and mineralized uh, rocks to surface. And and uh, after he had done his master's thesis, he went and worked for Kennecott, and it was a, a subsidiary of Kennecott uh, Bear Creek Mining that went out and drilled some deep holes. And Phelps Dodge also was uh, working in the very close proximity to where our property is today and drilled a couple of holes. And sure enough, they went down through the cover volcanics and then got into the highly perspective carbonate rocks down below that. And they were very successful in, in hitting uh, strong mineralization and strong alteration down there. So um, the exploration was going along well, but then the price dropped off, the market dropped off, uh, the Christmas mine shut down in 1982. And, uh, you know, the the project just lost steam, lost momentum, and, and uh, unfortunately uh, for them, uh, didn't continue on at that time. And it's really a, a very fortuitous situation for Prismo to be able to come in and, and be the first company to take a serious shot at this. Yeah, 100%. It is an exciting opportunity. Um, Steve, like, uh, the other rabbit hole I mentioned, the second one, is, is really the AI rabbit hole. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's like the question is like, how, how does that influence your decision making when it comes to drilling? W- what are they looking at and what kind of data are they basing their models on? Yeah, this is really a, a great tool for us. And as I said, you, you know, we're the first company to come in in 50 years to pick up the, the torch. Well, we've got a lot of opportunities available to us that weren't available to the guys that were doing the drillings back in the, the 70s and 80s. And, um, you know, one of those things is uh, the additional computer power that we have and the technology that we have to be able to reprocess the geophysical data and make sure that we're optimizing the opportunities. So they're taking traditional data like uh, would have been gathered 10 years ago uh, in a ZPAM survey. Uh, but now taking it a step further and just making sure that we're using all the computer power that's available to us to to uh, model and optimize the results that are coming out of that. And, and we'll be using that. It's not something that we're going to rely on 100 percent, but it's just another one of the tools that we use when we're actually planning out those drill holes. No, phenomenal. No, it's it, it's exciting. Like I've been hearing AI left, right and center. And now I'm really curious to see how it really influences the mining industry and uh, how it can make a difference and how it can impact uh, exploration and uh, successful exploration, uh, exploration at that. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm curious. I've, uh, I've met your AI uh, expert. Let's let's, uh, let's go with that. Uh, what, what do you call them? AI experts, geologists, AI geologist, uh, AI expert, the AI engineer? Well, the two partners that are owning and running the company are actually one of them is a geologist and one's a geophysicist. Now, um, so I think of them as geologist and a geophysicist, but, uh, you know, clearly these guys have a uh, next level understanding of uh, computer technology and how to apply those traditional sciences in a way that's uh, taking advantage of the computer power. And, you know, they actually go and rent time on a supercomputer to uh, to run all the iterations that they need to do to uh, to make sure it's optimized. Quite frankly, I'm not so sure that I'm the right guy to talk to about it because I don't fully understand all of what they do. Uh, but I know that they have a great understanding for the uh, basic principle of the mineralizing process and the geology in the area. And, uh, and I'm looking very forward to seeing what they come up with for results. And hopefully we can be an early success story for them. Yeah, you and me, too, you, you and me as well. So uh, th- that should be an interesting time. Um, let's, let's talk about interesting time. When, when do you expect the start of the troll program there, Steve? Well, now that we have the permit in place, the next uh, key thing is to get some funding. And once we have the funding in place, uh, we should be able to get to work fairly quickly. Uh, uh, we've been talking to diamond drill contractors already, and there's a number of them that are highly interested in doing this work. They've got uh, additional capacity that uh, most of the diamond drillers in Arizona have uh, equipment parked in the yard right now. So this is actually a good time for us to be out looking for a contractor to go out and start a program. Um, and uh, most of them, quite frankly, have the A-team available at this point as well, which is always a, a little bit of a bonus. So um, doing a deep program like this, we, of course, want to have the best crew on the on the job and i think we're going to be able to get that so um you know i i can't give you an exact time frame kai but i would hope that it's going to be within a month or two 
No, phenomenal. I appreciate it. Steve, thank you so much for the update. This was, again, a breaking news special. It was a bit rushed, I do admit it, but uh, it, we, we focused solely on the news. Congrats on getting the permit. Let's uh, let's drill this thing and let's see what is happening. So uh, I'm really excited to see the next steps uh, develop here, Steve. And uh, any other news we should worry about? Anything, or not worry about, sorry, that's the wrong term, but we should be excited about coming out? Well, there's going to be lots of news uh, to be excited about in uh, Prismo Metals this year. We're going to be uh, uh, trying to get the drilling program going down in the Pinuco district down in Mexico as well. Uh, we're going to be doing some groundwork on the uh, 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 project that we have in Sonora State. And uh, and then, of course, the focus of our attention is going to be on hot bread. And we're just going to have a continuous news flow uh, for the rest of the year as we, as we get the project going or the company going on all fronts. Fantastic. That, that's what we want to see in here. And uh, we're lo really looking forward to the start of drilling. So, Steve, thank you so much for your time. It was a fantastic update. Uh, it is much appreciated. And, uh, of course, uh, we will follow the story very closely here uh, as, as we are working closely with the company. So make sure to check out the disclaimer. Also, let us know. Did you enjoy this breaking news special? It is really important for us to come out on time right after the press release has been issued and uh, so that we can follow up with the narrative and get some more color and context. Did we ask the right question? Was this valuable? to you let us know down below we do want to hear from you thank you so much for tuning in and uh, make sure to subscribe to the gold newsletter thank you so much we'll be back with lots more